Hi there, Pony Hills Hyundai family. Uh, today we're going to be going over the 2021 Hyundai Kona EV. This is the SEL trim. We're going to be going over the regenerative braking today. Um, there is four levels on the on the regenerative braking, and we're going to be going over those. So for the Kona EV, we do have the regenerative braking. Uh, left side, left panel, or left paddle shifter, we're going to be having, uh, it's going to add more regenerative braking. So say we start at level zero, we're going to go ahead and have no regenerative braking whatsoever. It's perfect for highway speeds in case you're trying to get to a destination. And when you let go off the, the brake, you won't feel any uh, brake pressure whatsoever. It's just going to coast. Okay, next up, we do have level one. This would be good for highway speeds as well. In case you want to we have that slight drag or the slight pressure, it is going to go ahead and add a, a, um, a little bit of uh, regenerative braking on it. Okay. So level zero and level one are, are perfect for highway speeds in case you're going over 60, 65 miles an hour or 60 miles an hour. Next up, we do have level two. Level two would be pretty good for uh, stop and go traffic. Um, say you're, you're driving in the highway and there is some, some traffic, like most of LA, it does have a lot of traffic. Um, level three as well, in case you're in at stop and go traffic again, say it's really bad, it's gridlock, you can use that too. Going back to level two, that would actually be good just surface street speed as well, as well. So you can go ahead and coast in your uh, coast into your stop. Uh, a lot like delivery truck drivers, they go ahead and try to maintain as much coast time versus stoppage time, just to go ahead and uh, maximize the fuel uh, economy. So for this, pretty much, if you coast into your spot uh, stops, you let the regenerative braking go ahead and take an effect um, before your stop. You can actually get a lot better range on your car. Level three as well, you're going to notice more of a slight drag more of a drag you're actually going to feel forward momentum going as you stop so for level two and level three in case you let go of the brake and you do have the regenerative braking um, you can see the tail lights turn on as well so pretty much it is some some getting used to teasing your regenerative braking it's kind of like a stick shift car where you're downshifting almost and you notice the forward pressure or the forward movement as you're braking but you will get used to it once again, Pony Hills Hyundai family, thank you for watching this video. In case you have any other questions regarding the regenerative braking, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And if you also have any other questions regarding the Kona EV, also do so. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.